In this video we're going to look at how to draw or sketch a graph of f prime of x if we are looking at the graph of f of x. Um, so remembering that f prime of x is going to be a, a graph of the slopes of the original function um, and that we'll want to consider the the points where f of x is not differentiable and we'll need to indicate that on our graph. So that's actually a good place to start. I, I think that visually we can all tell that at, for instance, x equals negative 5, it looks like we have a little cusp or corner. So that must mean that the function is not differentiable there. So I might just highlight that. So I'm just going to circle it as something we'll want to keep, uh, keep our eye on. So it's not differentiable there. There's another one here and it's not continuous here. So we, we took a look at where functions can be differentiable and where they can't, where they can't be, and at these three moments, the function's not differentiable. So when we graph f prime of x, there's going to have to be holes there to indicate that. Um, all right, so this does not have to be done in any sort of uh, particular way. I think I'm just going to look at the easy section, which is that red one in the middle. We can see that the slope, right, since the derivative is telling us about the slope of the function, we can tell that the slope is 0 in between negative 5 and 3. So what I'm going to do is just draw a horizontal line between negative 5 and 3. And at negative 5 and 3, we noted that the function is not differentiable, so we'll put an open circle there, and at 3 as well. Probably should have used red. But in between there, the slope is just zero the entire time. Okay. Um, let's look at that green section there. It looks like the slope in between three and six, the slope of the function is, um, looks like negative one exactly. So we'll go down to negative one. And I'm going to put an open circle because, again, it's not differentiable there. And I'm going to go all the way over to six. So three, four, five, six. And the slope is um, negative one on that interval. And then after that, it looks like the slope becomes uh, the slope of the graph is one half. So we'll go and graph that. So one half. So I'm going to have to put an open circle there again because it's not differentiable at six. Um, and we'll do the best job we can at indicating graph as or the, that the line there is at one half. So I'm going to put arrows there at the end only because I think I'm going to assume that up here, let's just assume the graph continues. All right, now let's go to that kind of the harder section there, which is that parabola, the parabola looking thing. One obvious point is that uh, at negative six, we, we, we have a horizontal tangent. So that means at negative six, the derivative is zero. So I'll plot that point, negative six, zero and seeing as this is a this is an exercise in just sketching the function and not so much um, getting the the exact details right I think I'm gonna avoid talking about what the actual equation of that parabola is even though we could get it let's just kind of reason a little bit um, I would I would argue that it's probably um, apparent that whatever the slope is, well, first of all, the slope to the right of negative 6 is positive, so that the, the, uh, the derivative should be positive to the right-hand side of negative 6, and to the left-hand side, it's negative, so there's going to be a changeover from negative to positive down here below. Um, the other thing is that if you look at the little section, right, the little section just to the right of negative 6, and the section just to the left of negative 6, maybe I'll indicate those with a right? There's some symmetry here. So the graph has symmetry, which we can probably infer means that whatever the slope is to the right of negative 6 at a certain distance, it's going to be the opposite of what the slope is to the left. So, for example, if the slope was 1, let's say the slope was 1 at, you know, negative 5.5, let's just say that slope was 1, it stands to reason that at negative 6.5, that slope would be negative 1. So if we kind of just kind of impose that 
I mean, that was a very loose argument, but if we just impose that onto this, then we could probably say that the graph is going to have, uh, is going to behave somewhat linearly uh, in terms of the derivative. So let's just, maybe let's just make up, uh, make up a few reasonable numbers. I would say at negative 5, it looks like that slope is about, about to approach 1, so I'm just going to say it's 1 there, which means that at negative 7, I'm going to argue that that slope is negative 1. And I'm going to imagine that it's going to behave linearly the rest of the way. All right, so it's kind of a weird-looking function, but it you know wouldn't come up a whole lot. This is just an exercise in matching up uh, or in looking for the key features of a function in order to sketch its derivative. And, of course, don't forget those holes because the function is not differentiable at those instances.